Reducing beds, services, and staff. Those are three proposals to cut costs at St. John's Episcopal Hospital in Far Rockaway. Tonight, some residents worry that this could mean life or death for patients in the area. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more. St. John's Episcopal Hospital is the only hospital on the peninsula serving the Rockaways and Five Towns community. This is an underserved, underserviced community. The 257 bed facility took on the first Queen's COVID 19 patient last year and became so inundated with infected patients they had to create more beds. A year later, this is the thank you saying that we don't need you anymore. The state health department and a consulting firm presented hospital administrators with several cost cutting options. The most drastic would take the hospital down to 15 beds. Another would get rid of obstetrics and limit beds. The number of staff, currently more than 1,000, would be cut down. Iona Folks has been a nurse at the hospital for almost 30 years. Yes, we are facing a crisis with the budget, with the pandemic, but that doesn't mean your poorest of communities deserve any less. Our zip code should not dictate the quality of health care they receive. You're giving us a death sentence. That's Felicia Johnson is with Queens Community Board 14. What if we have another pandemic? What if something else comes along, right? What if we have another natural disaster like a superstorm sanding? The mayor says he's against the proposals. The Rockaways has taken on the chin for generations. The people of the Rockaways need more health care, not less. Other local lawmakers and community members vow to fight any cuts. We rallied in 2012 when they were closing Peninsula Hospital. And we all said as a community here in Rockaway that one hospital, meaning St. John's, was not enough. We reached out numerous times to the State Department of Health today. They said they would get back to us, but did not. In Far Rockaway, Queens, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And we also reached out to the consulting company, Tony Korf Partners, LLC, but did not hear back.